All right, I'm back, everybody. I'm back again. And this time, the topic of discussion, prison letters. I'm working on finally since, you know, I figure since I'm inside, you know, maybe there's one thing about being stuck in his ass out. He's getting some shit done that I need to get done. And I had got some cleaning done, but two, Another thing I need to get back to. Letters. Prison letters. Yep. I always know somebody in prison. Somebody's either incarcerated, either in the jail or in the prison. So, and one of those right now is my own, uh, is one of my sons that live here. You know, I have two son, two sons. They're not biologically related to me. I don't. They're somebody. They're basically people I adopted from the street. So I may not have kids of my own because I've not been able to have any. But I'm a. I'm what you call a street mother. That's why I got the name Mama, Mama Joy, Mama Goose. Everybody calls me that. Everybody calls me Mama. They just call me Mother Goose. But you know, then they started calling me Mama Goose. And when they said Goose, I said, well. You know what? That's the name. I'm going with Mama Googs. Googs is, uh, actually my mom and dad gave me that nickname when I was a kid, so I went with some, I'd rather go with a nickname I already have, you know? You all like Mama Googs? Or do you like Mama Joy? Some people call me Mama Joy, they call me by my regular name, you know? I've come, I've had, uh, different stage names in my past, you know, when I used to, I did rap thing for a while, it wasn't really, it wasn't really... You know, I didn't get out perform or anything, but I, I wrote a lot of rap. I, I, I've got tons of rap songs. I still write to this day. You know, I've just never been to the damn studio. Never been to the studio. You know, I wish I could go get some of my raps. I got some. Actually, I got them out right now. You know, it's just that I couldn't, you know, I'll tell you what it is. Like, you know, I... I, I got that anxiety, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know, just getting out there is, is hard, you know. How do you get out there in front of thousands of people and perform, you know? Now, if I was at a bar or a club, you know, doing a gig, that ain't too bad, you know. I've done some, you know, do some little things in there, but it's not like I was, you know, it's, you know, I guess I, I didn't pursue it hard enough. I, I just wrote songs and, and it just, I got lost. I got lost. It's getting lost trying to get the, trying to get in the rap game, you know. I was afraid to go try to get a record deal. I wanted to do it myself, do an indie label. Just already have my own label and do everything on myself. And you know what that takes? Money. Money that I don't even have. You know. I used to wish I had my own recording studio in my house so I could do it myself. You know, I, I wish I could have hooked, tried to find, I tried to find people to hook up with. They had a studio. Uh, one dude I lost, I went to one dude's house back when I started. You know, I started writing rap music when I was about 23, 24 years old. And... You know, I, I wrote poetry, though. I used to write a lot of poetry when I was about high school. You know, so, you know, I've been, I kind of was in and out of the, I had a whole lot of rap songs when I first started writing, but they all got lost. I lost a lot of shit, you know. I mean, but just you think about all the songs I've written, I've run, I've wrote thousands, I've wrote hundreds of songs. I've got enough songs right now. To probably, I would have had enough songs to make me uh, a decade worth of uh, albums. But now I had a book that I had type them up. Now for a while when I was writing them, I started typing them up. And I had them all in little one of them little see-through books. Um, let me let me go get it real quick. Let me go get my shit. I want to show you. Just just hold on real quick.
Okay. Now, let me get back to this rap game thing. Okay? I know we were supposed to talk about prison letters, but I got to talking about this and this to see. But you know what? I ought to do this on a separate video. So, like I was saying, I like to keep my subjects separate. Um, <clears throat> but anywho, I, I'm going to go back to the prison letters. You know, I've always known somebody in prison, you know. Whether it was a guy I was seeing, whether a guy I was going out with, or if it was a friend, son. Uh, family member. It seemed like I always knew somebody was either in jail or in prison. You know, sometimes it's like it's, it's so easy to get caught up, and sometimes and they all ain't bad people. You know, when you want you wind up incarcerated, it doesn't mean you're a bad person. I mean, you have a lot of good people out there and there in prison. Sometimes they in they ain't prison, they don't need to be. You know, like uh, somebody was talking about the other day, you know, being in federal prison because your, your Second Amendment rights were violated, you know. That man shouldn't even be in there. I was just talking about that the other day. But I'm writing some letters right now. I need to get to do I'm, I'm trying to get to work on this shit. So, you know, while I'm stuck in the damn house. Oh, they won't forget. Yeah, he should. No, he won't forget me. And you know what? You know what uh, my friend uh, Francine told me? Is he said, she said when he gets out, he said when he gets out, he will come, he probably will be coming, you know he's going to be coming to see me. Because she said I've been there for him more than anybody. I said, for real? For real. But... Um, first of all, let's let's get to what's right here close. This hits close to home. Here's my prison letter from my son. And he got arrested the day we left for Memphis. Now I told his ass he should have went to Memphis with us. No, I'm afraid we get caught. I said, you know what? You just didn't want me you just didn't want to go to Memphis because you know if Turk wasn't busy or nothing. You just didn't want me to embarrass your ass in front of church. Yeah. I might not embarrass him if he went along and did what I asked him to do. But, you know, right now, he had me pissed. He got me mad because he wants to do something stupid. Told to take a woman back. He was going with. I've all y'all heard me talk about Devon. Devon Lee Ramsey. Elmo. This is what he sent me last week in jail. He ain't a week. Dear Joy. Hey, Joy. I went to court on Monday, and I got laid over till the 12th and 13th of this month. I told them, I told the DA or whatever how the cop jacked up my charges on the domestic disturbance so I don't know what they are going to do to on the 12th. I know that you need to come pick up my cell phone and my house key. I don't know when or how I can get back from Daytona Beach. I guess I can't worry about what I have to have no control over. I can't call you or anyone else of course on the phone system. When are you coming to pick up my property, or do I lose my property once I go down to Daytona? Because once I get back and fail to beat them in the court, I'm gonna have, I'm going back to prison within two weeks. Did you get the key back from Julie? Has she said anything about me being arrested to you at all for the way she was? I was, she was acting like she didn't give a damn at all. I don't know what is going to happen on the 12th, but I will be glad when it gets here. I can call you one. Let's see. I can call you once I reach Daytona Beach, but don't place no money on my account, for I owe money to the jail now. 
you can come visit me before I go to court. Which I do need to do. I hope he's still there. He said, P.S. Call Dawn for me at 386 whatever. Let her know that I need help finding help help finding out about court down there. See, that's another that's the bitch that got his ass down there in Florida. Let his ass down there on a wild ass goose chase. He never learned. He don't need a woman. Devon, you don't need a girlfriend. I gotta write him I gotta write him back. Cause you know, I've had so much I, I had to work and stuff and some damn shit got me down, you know. I didn't get up Friday to go to court like I was supposed to. I feel kinda bad that I was not there, you know. But I do need I, I he said he got forty six days is what his uh what I heard through the grapevine. Yes, please. Another thing, praying too. Well, now we can go on to the next letter that I'm getting ready to write. Well, this next letter is one I had started and did not get finished with. Someone very special. Someone. This is to someone special. And, you know what I'm saying, I'm late writing this, this letter off. You know what I'm saying, because last month was his birthday. I still got his card. I didn't. I got it last month and didn't send it yet. I had too much going on and shit, you know. I had too much shit going on. Pray for this guy. Pray for the spe special person I'm talking about. I say he's special because, just because he is, because of who he is a person. And his heart, you know, he's got a heart of 24 carats, as somebody would say. In fact, you know, somebody said that. I, I do agree with that concept. I won't go into it. But anywho, I'm looking for this letter. I started writing him. Started writing him, uh, what day was it? September 27th, 2017. Hey, Big Pimpin', what's poppin'? I so much apologize for this birthday card being nearly a month late. I bought it la a week before your holiday and spent almost the whole month going through it. I found it on the nightstand and decided to send you another letter. The last letter I sent you was back around Christmas of last year. Okay, I've not heard from you, so, and think it's either in one of those boxes, or it was so long, you probably didn't want to read it. Laugh out loud. So, I said to myself, let me try this again. I hope you're doing okay. One of the best things that can happen right now is the day uh, U.S. Coleman gives you your eviction notice. Well, he's not Coleman now, he's somewhere else. You hop on that helicopter, if this is how you would get back to touchdown in uh, New Orleans. And as long as them damn feds have you in their hands, that national anthem and stupid flag can kiss my ass. Kiss my ass, flag. I'm also standing with Colin, what's his name? Colin Kep, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. It is his really a long last name. Says because it, if American flag is supposed to stand for freedom, then why are innocent people being shot by the very people who are supposed to serve and protect? Then there's nothing. Then there's Donald Trump want to go to war with North Korea, which I don't agree with. Him and that nut King Don should just send their send their men and women to die fighting each other for bullshit that's happening between just two of them. Instead of both sides setting their team, men and women, they should just settle it one-on-one. -on -one. They should just fight amongst themselves, and I wonder who would actually win the fight. So, I'm not even done fighting that. But I need to get it. I need to get on it, and I need to get this shit in the mail. You know, I think he gets his cards, you know, because I know I already got my Christmas card. I don't know. 
And I'm going to send him his birthday card. Now, he's probably going to sit there and say, like, okay, my birthday was last month. I said, this birthday card's kind of late, uh, kind of early now. <laughs> but you know what? It's the thought that counts. The thought that counts. So, get my ass going on this. Um, but anywho... I'm gonna get on the next thing. Uh, my next, my next video, my next session is gonna be about the rap game. You know, my time in the rap game. And I'll be back.